Kansas City might not look like one of the top 10 most violent cities in the country, but according to FBI crime data statistics, it is. Often we think of violence coming from strangers, but in reality, most often it stems from interpersonal conflict between people who know each other. So how can we use this information to make Kansas City a safer place to live? When many of us hear the word mediation, we might think of going back and forth, trying to make sure their side wins and the other side loses. That's not what we do here at the Mediation Center. We base everything we do, our conflict coaching, our training, our mediations, our sessions in schools on something called restorative justice. Restorative justice is a way of life. It's not a program or just a process. So we look at the needs of the offenders and the victims and the community. We address the harm by the person doing the harm, taking responsibility for what they've done and repairing the harm to the extent possible. The expectation is, as a result of that, that those parties are restored to a sense of wholeness, to a sense of joy, to a sense of well-being that can move them on into the future in a different way than they would have had they not engaged in this repairing process with each other. Um, compliance is high, uh, 85, 90 percent of the people who come to restorative justice processes finish their agreements in ways that are satisfying to both the victims and the offenders and the community of which they're a part. One reason restorative justice is being used more and more is that it's effective. The process is pretty simple. We come together with the two parties, taking the time to tell their story, what brought them there. And we let them do it. We, we allow them to make the choices of how they want to resolve it. At the end, they really feel like I've come to a conclusion in which it helps me. I, did, I wasn't forced to anything that I can't uphold. I know I can do this. And generally, they come out pretty satisfied. The cost of unresolved conflict can be monetary. As much as $65 million a year is lost to businesses in the United States because of unresolved conflict. It makes good sense to teach managers and employees direct communication skills so that they can deal with conflict before it escalates and valuable time and employees are lost. I have a company here in Kansas City that I've had for quite a few years, Sounding House. We have a very busy office and lots going on. A couple of years ago I had a couple of employees that were having difficulty getting along with each other and I could just really tell it was impacting the work environment and services we provide. So I really needed some outside, some outside help. I heard about CMC, uh, Community Mediation Center. I was pretty sure they might be able to help us out, and they did. Um, I retained them to come in, talk to these employees. Um, within two sessions, they got things worked out. I could immediately tell the difference in the way they were working here. The way I've become to kind of think about it is sort of, it's sort of like practical peacemaking. They come to agreements, and the agreements are written down, and it's between, it's between them. Um, and so they, they feel empowered. Um, I don't know of anything that's more efficient than that. It is a small investment to be able to have my employees work as a team because that shows up when you're working with your clients and in the quality of your, of your work. Over the past three years, the Community Mediation Center was able to train over 3,200 students. There's this kid named Riley. He's a cool kid. But sometimes he can, he's, he acts really weird and annoying and like a know-it-all. And people have been bullying him because of that. I never considered myself a bully because I didn't, I didn't ever say anything. But I, I really should have stood up for him and told the other kids to back off. When children are given a chance to see and use conflict resolution, they get it. When they came in, they told us, just to really t tell him up front instead of gossip about him behind his back because I don't think anyone likes to be gossiped about. Uh, another thing that we learned in that class was to recognize bullying, refuse it, and report it. Since the Kansas City, Missouri Human Relations Mediation Department closed about two and a half years ago, the Community Mediation Center has increased its intake about 65%. Those people who used to be served for free
by the city are now coming to us and looking for assistance. Next year, if the growth trend continues, we will serve more than 10,000 people in the Kansas City area. Mediation and conflict resolution services work. Every time someone gains new knowledge or a new skill to resolve conflict in their lives, we move closer to eliminating violence in our city. Join us as we strive to make Kansas City one of the top 10 safest cities in the country.